I did order something. What'd uh-huh. you get? And, and I canceled something. You ordered Fuck. something and canceled something. I canceled that fucking audio control. Oh, Get really? Shit out of here. Yeah. Okay. Canceled. Yeah. Money. Canceled. So, so what'd you order? I ordered the new Pioneer with Dirac. The okay. um, $1,500 one, the 11 channel process, nine channel power. So you went from like a $10,000 to a $20,000? No, four, 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 $4,000 okay. to, to this other one. Now, the thing okay. is, I just want to experience Dirac. Yeah. <laughs> um, the thing that it's missing is Oro, obviously. Mm. It's the mm. only thing it's missing. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, um, ASS the 505 got the got the 505. Yeah, man, canceled. What, why, mm-hmm. dude? I paid for that thing in August, bro. It's been a I, long there's time, nothing. Dude. That's oh, quite Villa, a while. Villa Man, Villa Man mm-hmm. got his and okay. he bought it after I did. Oh, weird. <sighs> yeah, that's crazy. So, does he, like, does he like his Cleveland? Yeah, he likes it. He cool. and he got the expensive one, he got the actual processor, not the AVR. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm not as familiar with with audio controls. I don't know like what their pricing structure is or even their oh, model. Oh yeah. Oh, the, I think the um the big daddy processor is like 9000. 8 okay. or 9000. dollars So, so they're, they're getting on up there with churn off some of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Close. That's their that's their top top one. Mm-hmm. Uh their cheapest AVR is 4000. Okay. I'm around there. Yeah. So, but, okay. So when is that supposed to come in? I just got shipping notification, so that'll be here January 3rd. January. Okay. okay. So, oh, real Next soon. Next week. Next Monday. So, yeah. Correct. Nice. So, all right. Are you going to keep the same speakers you have now, or are you going to change them out? They are. I got to talk to somebody about getting those Focals ordered. So, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> you don't cancel Chana. Chana cancels you. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. Exactly. That's awesome. <sighs> That's yeah, hilarious. man. Like, uh, you know, I've been talking audio control, audio control, audio control. Yeah. Like, at, at this point, like, I'm just done waiting, man. Like, mm. fuck this nonsense. Like, yeah. I'm a, like, I'm a consumer. I paid for it. Yeah. It's not here in four months. Yeah. It's time to move on. Time to move on. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So uh, I canceled that and I ordered. And actually, I saw somewhere on Facebook, you know, somebody's like, hey, Best Buy has these in stock. I was like, oh, oh, finally, someplace mm-hmm. has them in stock. So I can check it out. And honestly, could it be the thing that dethrones the AVR that dethrones my top pick for mid tier, which has always been, well, it's been the Denon 3600. Mm-hmm. 3700 yeah. for so many uh years sure. now for two and a half years now yeah mm-hmm. and so you know if if this pioneer and i haven't had i haven't owned a pioneer <laughs> av receiver so, so have so. you experienced direct yet in your not setup? in my home not okay. in my home cool um yeah. at, at know, a show i'd be curious how you how you like the like the not the interface but just the setup process of that because it definitely is not near as intuitive as something like odyssey and i think probably the biggest difference odyssey is kind of like it kind of does most of it for you pretty much step by step mm-hmm. yeah. where Dirac, you definitely have some other steps um and i just my biggest thing is my speakers at that time and they still are but the la scalas that i had they were so sensitive that i never could get the um you have you, you got to get like the level in the green area and i mm-hmm. never could get it in there i had to like uh, adjust the trim so over loud, here huh? yeah you so know, I, maybe you you were using an tough. older version of Dirac because now it's pretty easy. It's like I don't know. if if I compared Odyssey, the automatic Odyssey, mm-hmm. okay, to that one, they seem pretty much the same. Like yeah. there's not very much difference except except uh, you do have to manually set mm-hmm. the levels at first just to yeah. kind of get them in the ballpark. Sure, but, but like then I said, afterwards that, it still does it automatically. That was frustrating to me. But like I said, my my speakers at that time were 104 dB. Yeah. So it would just, I don't, I don't think it really had a great way of doing that. Yeah. Cause everybody told me they're like, you should not have to adjust that left, whatever that trim on the mm-hmm. far left one. Mm-hmm. But that was the only way I could get them in the green. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you pre- you shouldn't have had to have done that, but I, I, I did. Snoot, Snoot yeah. says I they got rid of those green areas a long time ago. Okay. So That's maybe, I, cause this would have been what, two, at least two years ago, if not three years ago. So that would have been when I had the, HTP one mm-hmm. from Monoprice. I think that was my first and only experience with Dirac, other than when I had the NAD two channel set up. The um, oh oh yeah, that was M, pretty recent. What was that? M M thirty M thirty three or something. Like yeah, I don't remember the the model on that one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy. It's pretty yeah, compared to the stuff that I'm doing with uh, the multi QX stuff. 
Mm-hmm. And that's the, what I was going to ask you, Chana, is yeah. if you're interested to try that out, then you have something to compare, right? Yeah. So, so Dirac is pretty awesome. Like out yeah. of the box, it's just like <clears throat> pretty, pretty. You good. know what? You M10. know what else I have, which I always forget about because it's not plugged in. I have the, M10. I have the Anthem. Yeah, I have the Anthem, so sure. I could do a comparison. You know, binaural recording of Odyssey versus Dirac versus Anthem room correction versus yeah. Joe's Magic Beans settings. Magic you know? Beans, what is real? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna have to take that one. Yeah, I had the, we'll I had see. The we'll see. I think you know Dirac is really good. That's what yeah. I keep trying to tell people. Is like, yeah, it's really, it's really good. I, I, I,